This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. Hello, pet lovers. Welcome to Best Pets for Pets. I'm your show host, Michelle Fern. So let's see, you got a new pup and you're thinking, what now? Where do I go? Where's my support group? Where do I go for help? And you know, like most of us these days, you might think, let me go online. But where do you go online? Well, my guest today has created a unique platform online that will come to the aid for pet parents all over the world. We will be right back. Take a bite out of your competition. Advertise your business with an ad in Pet Life Radio podcasts and radio shows. There is no other pet-related media that is as large and reaches more pet parents and pet lovers than Pet Life Radio. With over 7 million monthly listeners, Pet Life Radio podcasts are available on all major podcast platforms. And our live radio stream goes out to over 250 million subscribers on iHeartRadio, Odyssey, TuneIn, and other streaming apps. For more information on how you can advertise on the number one pet podcast and radio network, visit PetLifeRadio.com slash advertise today. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back, everyone. I'd like to welcome the founder and CEO of Juniper, Allison Medina. Welcome, Allison. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm so glad you're on the show. So let's talk about Juniper. What is it and why did you create it? Yes. So Juniper is an online community for dog parents. uh, And I created it really because it was something that I wanted after I adopted my rescue pup, Addie. I got her as a puppy. And so like anybody who's ever gotten a puppy knows you have a lot of questions, you have a lot of struggles, (laughs) internal struggles and external struggles, sometimes even like dealing with the puppy blues. So that really got me into like diving into everything from the online communities that I could find out there to Googling every question. And I still felt like there was something sort of missing in the pet space that would be a a supportive space and answer all my questions. So Juniper aims to do a little bit of both. So we have an online community and we have content and a lot of articles on our website. And we try to be a little bit different, a little bit more nuanced around like, here's why you might train your dog on this and here's why you might not rather than coming from the trainer's perspective or the veterinarian perspective, which is like the expertise, we know everything that's right for you and your pet. Juniper is a little bit more by dog parents for dog parents, right? So if we've all been there before and struggled with it, we can help each other. And we also have an active online community of dog parents that can talk to each other. So we have channels to talk to each other about all sorts of things that you're going through in your journey. You think having a platform, so with Juniper, what is the end goal? I mean, I could see a lot of reasons for it, you know, but yeah, what's the ultimate goal. Oh, it's so fun to think about because there's so many ways that it could grow. You know, we just launched a few weeks ago, so it's brand new. Um, and to some degree, I'm like letting it grow somewhat organically to feel like what are the needs? I know what the needs of me are as a dog parent, but what are the needs of our community? So I think like, Largely, what we're trying to do is grow the largest online community of dog parents. And once we have a really large audience, you know, then we can work and do really cool stuff with these pet brands. So another thing is uh, the reason I was really excited to be on your podcast is like, I started to really nerd out about pet products and find the best things and what are they and you know, a lot of what you talk about here. And I think that there's like a space for just overwhelm. Juniper, we're already working with a couple of what I kind of consider emerging pet brands like the brands that we've identified as being either really sustainable, high quality. Oftentimes we love to work with brands that are like women owned, just if there's some kind of mission behind the brand, we love to work with them. And then how can we introduce the pet parents on our platform to really like the best products? So I think there's a lot more that will grow there. Right now we're working with them to pass along discounts and things like that. But I think that will grow a lot more over time as well. That's interesting. And yeah, Best Pets for Pets, it's been 13 years of products. So a lot, a lot of shows. 
take a listen. I've had some of the best on this show, so which I'm yes. thrilled with and proud of and and a lot of really great products, but not only the, are the products great, but the people and the company behind the products are pretty great too. Yeah. So how does Juniper work? And also, Juniper does have a like a pay to join type mm-hmm. system. So what it makes it different, and I'm asking this not to be taunting, but I know my listeners and they're probably thinking this, what is the value for someone to pay to join Juniper when they could possibly get, you know, not the same thing, but pieces here and there from the internet? Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, of course. So to join Juniper is super easy. You can join for free, which I think most people would do to start out. Um, That's just dropping your email on the website. It's juniperpet.co. And we're going to be giving away like some of the discounts to our free members and some access to chatting in the community. But the paid version of Juniper has access to everything. So it's going to be like all of the discounts that We work with pet brands to pass along. A lot of them are exclusive to Juniper. So it's like the best price you'll get on that brand through us. And then also just the ability to really chat with each other um, in the community. We use Slack for our community. So it's everything from, you know, we have a puppy channel. We have a senior dog channel, enrichment ideas channel, a channel for training tips, and then even just a lot of emotional support. So sharing your wins and things that you struggle with and just having a close-knit community of people to chat with there who have maybe also gone through the same things. So it's a lot of like learning from each other. So how is this different from other communities that exist online? You know, there's tons of Facebook groups and Reddit pages and things like that. But this is really, my background's in building communities. So it's, we're really building and curating a community from scratch and, you know, keeping quality really high and making sure people are answering each other. We have a lot of rules in the community. And I think rules are really great for making communities actually thrive more. Whereas a lot of these spaces you'll be in, you know, you can tell they get unruly or out of control really quickly or, or just not useful for you, right? So it's a curated, admin, really lovingly put together community, which I think helps it stand out. And then working with these brands and then the content that we're writing, I feel is really different, you know? So like just, uh, yeah, really bringing nuance and the emotional aspects of having a dog into the content rather than just like, should I do this for my dog? Yes or no. You know, if you want to Google a quick question about your dog, like everything that comes up on Google is going to answer it for you. We're not writing that type of content. It's more about the journey you're going on with your dog when you have really complex questions or even figuring out, you know, what are the right things for me to that I should train? Should I train this or not? Why is it right for me and my dog and how to consider all of that? You know, the idea is like, there's not that much one size fits all for dog ownership. Every dog is different and every person is different. So we're really trying to get at that with the content. Okay, that's great. And when you mention rules, there's a little part of me that's a rebel, but I do believe in rules because then you are also getting away from the, what do they call trolls and that sort of thing? Right, right. I mean, a lot of these online communities, they may be huge. They may have some value in there but you're dealing with trolls or you're dealing with people who are mean or just overly critical about the wrong things and then everybody gets stressed out, right? Even believe it or not, even when it's something as like fun as pets, there really can be a lot of that there. So we aim to be like a low drama, no drama (laughs) group where you can really come and learn from each other and be really supported. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, let's walk through a process of, you know, me going on Juniper and just getting started. So we'll be right back. Molly, here's your dinner. (coughs) Zeus, that's not your food. Don't let that happen to your precious cat. Elevate your cat's eating experience with the Cat Tree Tray. The Cat Tree Tray keeps your cat's food off the floor and conveniently located on the cat tree. It's the perfect way to eat. It's a beautiful wrought iron tray that easily attaches to your cat tree and keeps dogs and other critters out of your cat's dish. A must for multi-pet households. There's a 6-inch tray for large bowls and a 4-inch tray for smaller bowls. Purchase your cat tree tray today. Go right now to CatTreeTray.com. That's CatTreeTray.com. C-A-T-T-R-E-E-T-R-A-Y.com. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. Pet 
Welcome back, everyone. We're talking to the CEO and founder of Juniper, Allison Medina. And so let's talk about how it would work. So I just got a puppy. I got a rescue puppy. And I found Juniper. And I thought, you know, this is what I need. I don't know a heck of a lot about dogs. And I like the support of a community because I'm a little nervous about what to do first. So how would I get started? Yeah, that's a great scenario. And love that it's rescue puppy too. So is mine. So yeah, Juniper is super easy. Um, It's literally just drop your email on the site and then you're in. At that point, you're going to get an email that's going to give you a link to our guides. And actually, luckily already, we have one of them, which is a puppy 101 guide. So for you in this scenario, that would be really helpful. And we're going to continue to build out these guides. We plan to put out one per quarter. So like a more in-depth guide than just the articles that we're publishing every week. And then, you know, you'd already, you'd also get a weekly newsletter. So the weekly newsletter highlights just like what's the latest and what's happening on the site and in the community. So there's a lot of value there. And then the links to some of the discounts of the products that you might be shopping for when you're looking for stuff for your puppy. So goal for me there with curating these products is really like avoiding the problem I had, which was buying like way too much of the wrong stuff and then not knowing, you know, what the really good stuff was or the high quality stuff. And then also making mistakes like actually this came up in the community today. Somebody's like, not a first time dog owner. And they're wondering, can I, what's the best, cheapest collar I can buy for my puppy? Because I know that this puppy is just going to grow out of it. And I don't want to spend a lot of money. So even just considerations like that and learning from each other. So, you know, you realize these puppies are going to grow and you don't need to buy the best thing on day one. But here's the stuff that's still really good for that kind of scenario. Right. And how do you have it organized as far as well, you have it by sections, but what about geography? You have different products. Most products these days are global, but you're probably focused more on the US, North America. Yeah, definitely. I think most of Juniper members today are from the US and Canada. And we're technically open to join from everywhere. And somebody can join from any country and get value out of the content. A lot of that is going to be the same no matter where you live. Product recommendations slightly skew more towards US and Canada. But yeah, the talking to people and support can happen from anywhere. So I say and I imagine as we continue to grow, we'll still be largely US and Canada because that's we're based in the US. But um, yeah, we can welcome people from everywhere. You see as a future, you know, there's a lot of talk with telemedicine and there's a lot of different points of view with veterinarians and so forth. Is that a topic that you have you talked about that yet on your platform? Is that something that you might develop later on? Yeah, I think there's a lot of solutions that exist already and it feels almost like a competitive space to be in. I think what would be interesting for us is sort of like, what are the outlier things that vets are thinking about? Like, I would love to talk to vets about that, you know, like the stuff that you can't just Google. You know, right now, if somebody posts something and they're worried about it, we're just going to say, go to your vet, you know, (laughs) we're not vets, right? But as far as telehealth or checking in, you know, there's so many online services for that. I would love to find one that we love and can truly recommend and partner with and discount for our members or something like that. But I don't know if we'd go back and and really like reinvent the wheel there. But I do think it would be interesting to work with more vets for content that isn't your typical like vet content. What about that aspect? Not so much recommending, but do you have an area of Juniper that focuses on, say, pet insurance? Or is that just something that might be a topic in your newsletter? I think pet insurance would be, yeah, like we get that question a lot. And I think as we grow, it'll be like, okay, can we find one that we truly feel is the best? And then this is the one that we recommend. And then that becomes like the top Juniper recommendation, you know, or can we write a post and uh, really like actually compare them? Because it is something we see get asked a lot. People really want to know that about pet insurance. And right now I can ask it in the community and kind of crowdsource it. You know, I can recommend mine. Somebody else in the community can recommend theirs. And we can even ask each other questions like, did it cover this or that if you experience this, you know? So we can kind of do it ourselves within the community. But I do think it would be nice eventually as we start to work with more companies, the longer we're around, we're starting to, you know, develop more and more of these partnerships. I think it'd be great to have like something we feel really good and solid about or even a top three. Okay. And you're solely dog based. What about cats? Oh my gosh. 
Let me just say that's my other show, Catitude. Oh. And right now we just lost our little Nikki. So for the oh. first time in I don't even know how many years, I'm a cat only household right now. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah. We went from five cats and two dogs to three cats. So it feels like limited around here. Possibly a fourth cat soon. We'll see. But what about cats? Oh, yes. I am a cat lover first, actually. I have a 12 year old senior boy that I love so much. And so I think about cat stuff all the time. And I, and I really love cat products and cat communities. So I think there's definitely a place for it. We just wanted to really focus on dogs first so we could just really so we could stay focused and come out and really deliver a great experience for people. But I think once we nail that and figure out how to scale it out, we'll be able to expand to cats as well. Well, that's good to know. So I also want to talk about you have like a focus and affinity for shelter dogs. Where do you have that focused on Juniper? Yeah, so we provide free memberships to the paid version of Juniper to anybody who works at a shelter, foster, rescue, and could benefit from, you know, reading what we're writing about training and things like that and access to the discounts and things like that that could help them. So we're also featuring, we have something really fun called the Underdog Awards on our site. It's just a way for people to come upload a photo of their dog and then share it on social media. So we use that to also, we have a category called most adoptable. And so we use that to feature a shelter pet each week. And then we're sharing that on our social media as well. Okay. And what is your wish for Juniper, say, in the next year and then maybe five years? Yeah. I mean, for us, it's all about just growing the community, really finding the right folks who, which I would describe as people who care about their dog so much that they would consider throwing a birthday party for their dog. Like that's our type of dog parent that we want to find and have them join. So it's really just growing as many of those types of folks, getting them together as possible. In five years, I would really love to be like the site where people can discover, both get all the best answers about having a dog and connecting with people who have dogs, but also discover the best pet products that exist and kind of sort through all of the junk. That sounds amazing. Is there anything that we didn't talk about that you wanted to talk about that I didn't bring up? No, I think the only thing interesting that we didn't talk about is just really like something that I think is interesting is that we are connecting with folks from who have like either big Instagram pages about their dog and things like that. And we've been reaching out to them really organically, even before we were launched to just sort of ask them like, what is the stuff you actually use? Not necessarily the stuff people pay you to talk about being good, but what are your favorite, you know, harnesses, leashes? What's your favorite food to feed for your dog? And just kind of gathering the most honest answers from these folks. Um, and that's been so interesting because it's led us to so many brands that we didn't even know about. And then we've included that. And so I think it's an interesting take to like both crowdsource from people in our community about what their favorite products are or tips and all of that, but also go out to the larger community of dog parents and kind of find out, you know, like what are they really loving and find out about some good stuff that way. So that's been a great discovery for us. And I think it'll be something that we can incorporate into our content going forward as well. Oh, I have a list for you, but we'll talk about that. Oh, great. I love that. Sorry, folks. <laughs> but there's about 300 something shows you could listen to. I so know. Okay. And lastly, Allison, how can our listeners find out more about Juniper so they would, can just go to your website and sign up? Yep. Our website is juniperpet.co. Um, and yeah, you can sign up there. It's free and you're going to get a bunch of resources about how to be the best dog parent you can be. Well, I want to thank you so much for coming on Best Bets for Pets and taking the time out to tell us about Juniper. And I wish you the best success. And hey, maybe, you know, you might have Best Bets for Pets someplace on Juniper. I love it. Yes, we need oh, to get our pet like radio. On. We have so yes. much content, but, you know, it's 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 a little different. And there's so many needs for pet parents out there that there's I think there's always room for more. Absolutely. And we don't have a podcast, so we can send people over here for podcast listening. I love to listen to podcasts when I'm doing other stuff. So it's absolutely one of my favorite formats. So I'm excited to have discovered you and learn about, you know, everything from listening to all of your shows too. So thank you so much for having us.
We have over 75 shows and I'll give you my faves, but amazing. Uh, I guys, love that's it. gonna be off the air. Maybe they'll be best bets for pets with my favorite shows, but it's kind of like uh, you know, parent picking their kid or <laughs> kid, you know. So Have to be careful with that one. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Allison. Thank you so much. I hope all of you enjoyed the show. Be sure to check out Juniper and more information will be on the episode page for this show. Thank you so much, Allison, for coming on Best Bets for Pets. Thanks to my crew, Charlotte, Molly, and Dennis, my cat crew. The dogs are in doggy heaven, so my cat crew for always being there and listening to me when I go through my uh, warm-ups for Best Bets for Pets. And, of course, thank you to everyone listening to Best Bets for Pets for 13 years. Many, many products, so thank you. And, of course, the show wouldn't be the same without the magic of my producer, Mark Winter. So thank you, Mark, for doing all you do to make Best Bets for Pets and Pet Life Radio as wonderful as it is. So, hey, remember, keep listening because you never know what we're going to have next on Best Bets for Pets. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.